Welcome to Horizon Church Midweek Minute. I want to share some verses from Psalm 139 today. These are verses 23 and 24. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. This is something we should pray every so often, but it's a dangerous prayer to pray. Often when we pray, we're asking God for things for ourselves or for others. We ask him to bless, to provide, to heal. We spend time thanking and praising God for who he is. And all these prayers are important. We should thank and praise God. We should ask him for the things he has for us or for others. But while God is our provider, while he is our father, our comforter, our healer, he is also a holy and righteous God. And he calls us to live holy lives. So we need to pray, asking God to search our hearts, to reveal the things that we try and keep hidden, those secret sins that we play with, the thoughts that are not right, the anger, the resentment, all those other thoughts that are not right that we try to keep hidden from other people. We even try to pretend that they don't exist. We need the Holy Spirit to shine his light on them. We need to ask God to reveal them and God will do this. He will bring them to light. The verse says for God to test us and see if there's any anxious thoughts. It's often as we come under testing that the real thoughts and feelings that we possess come to the surface, not the veneer we put on, but what we actually think and feel. And as we let the Holy Spirit into our lives, as we ask him to search us, he will show us all these things that are there that need to be dealt with. And we also need to deal with them. We can't just let them be brought to the surface and then ignore them again. We need to deal with them. We need to look at what we need to do to get rid of these things that aren't pleasing to God. We need to repent. We need to ask for his forgiveness. We need to look at the strategies and things we need to do to do what is right, to live a holy life. And as we do this, as we let the Holy Spirit search us, as we see the things that aren't pleasing to God, and as we deal with them, then we can follow God as he leads us in the way everlasting.